Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, I really appreciate your time to see this video. Today, okay, I'm going to continue on our discussion how we can represent a signal by either the equation, time domain, or frequency domain. Okay, today, I have two examples. The first example I'm going to share with you, with given time domain, how can we use the information to convert into equation? And I'm also going to share with you how we can convert from time domain to frequency domain. So this will be the example one in this video. Example two, okay, I'm actually going to give you information on frequency domain. How can we make use of information in frequency domain to convert them into equation? And also, based on the information on frequency, how can we transform them to time domain? So this will be the example two for today's video. This will be the part three series discussion. The earlier on series discussion on signal representation, I have put the video link under the description. So please go through the video if you're keen to know more about signal representation. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like, and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Thank you so much. This is what I have discussed extensively on the first few video. Okay, a signal can be represented by either in equation, it can be described by time domain or frequency domain. As mentioned, whatever form that is given to you you must be able to transform them to another two form. Okay, earlier on, I have shown it to you how can we make use an equation to convert them into time domain and also with an equation, how to convert into frequency domain. For this video, like what I mentioned on the previous slide, I'm given the time domain. How can I make use of the information in time domain to transform them into an equation or with time domain, how can I convert them to frequency domain? So this will be the first example. On another example, example two, okay, I'm given the frequency domain. Okay, given the information in frequency domain, how can I convert them into equation? And also given the frequency domain, how can I transform them into time domain? So this will be the example two, basically given the frequency domain, convert to equation and also time domain. Before I continue the discussion on the example one and example two, let's do a very quick understanding how time domain is convert to frequency domain. Okay, so this is a signal that is given in time domain. You can see that the signal actually changed with time. This is a sine wave. Basically, they change with time. They have a period, they have a peak value here. So how can I draw the frequency domain? Okay, so from here, I can compute the frequency, which is one over period. Okay, so I calculate the frequency is 100 Hertz. And basically I can draw the frequency domain at 100 Hertz, I have a BP of one volt here. As I see from here, it's one volt. So therefore I can draw this frequency domain. Next, okay, I have similar waveform, similar sine wave, but what happened here is basically they have a, DC component. Okay, you can see that there's a DC component of one over here. Everything is still intact. They have the same peak value. They have the same period, except that there is one DC component at one volt here. So how can I relate into frequency domain? Everything is exactly the same, except at zero hertz, I actually have this DC component having a peak value of one volt. Okay, same as what you mentioned here. So this is what you need to do with DC effect. I need to include a DC term in the frequency domain. Next, okay, I actually have a higher frequency as compared to the first and the third. I actually has a signal with higher frequency. Okay, so basically the period is 0 0.005. I can compute that the frequency is 200 Hertz. So from here, I actually shift the frequency domain to the right, instead of 100, it becomes 200 because of higher frequency. The VP is still one volt. 
So basically, this is how we can transform from time domain to frequency domain. Okay, firstly, if there is a sine term, okay, there will be a high frequency component. If there is a DC term, I need to include the DC term over here. So the first and third tell you they are actually represent the sine wave basically based on the frequency. Whatever that I need is basically depend on their peak value here. So this is how I actually convert from time domain to frequency domain. Let's quickly do the first example. Okay, the signal below is plotted in time domain. Okay, so this is a time domain. Sketch the signal in frequency domain and also write it mathematical expression. Okay, which means that I'm given a time domain, convert them into frequency domain and also an equation to represent this signal. Okay, so let's start doing this question here. So this is exactly the time domain signal that I've given on the previous slides. From here, I can see that the DC value is equal to five. Okay, you can see that they actually start at this point here. So basically, I know my DC value is five. And I also can compute this sine wave. Okay, this sine wave having a VP here, from here to here. So VP is actually equal to six here, minus five. So therefore, I know that my VP is equal to one volt. Next, I need to compute my frequency. Okay, I have the period of two microsecond. I can compute my frequency by doing one over period. Okay, which is one over two microsecond, which gives me 500 kilohertz. So this is all the information that I need to construct an equation first. Okay, so this is what I have computed early on. Basically, I know that the DC term, the VP, and also the frequency. This is a generic term to describe a signal. Okay, firstly, okay, I need to have the DC value. I need to have the VP value. Okay, I also need to know the frequency. Okay, the phase will be zero because you can see that there is no phase shift. So I can compute here. So firstly, the DC value is five. So this DC value is represented by five. VP is one, so I don't need to write one. So basically I start by writing the sign. Two pi F, the frequency is 500 kilohertz. So this is the equation. So from here, I actually successfully transform the time domain into an equation. Next. I can draw my frequency response. Okay, can you still remember? The DC term is 5 volt. So basically, the DC term actually appeared at 0 hertz. Basically, they have a VP of 5 volt. Okay, so this is actually used to represent the DC. Next, this is on the sine wave. Okay, so basically, the sine wave basically having a frequency of 500 kilohertz. And basically, they have a VP of 1. Okay, so basically, this is in conclude on example one. Firstly, this is the DC term. Secondly, this is the sine wave. And this is also show how can we transform from time domain to frequency domain. Either we can transform the time domain into an equation first. And based on the equation, I actually can convert them into frequency domain. If not, you can go straight by looking at the DC term, having a DC voltage of five dB. And basically the VP of the sine wave is also one. And that's how I can draw my frequency domain. Next on example two, okay, the amplitude spectrum of a signal is shown below. Sketch the signal in time domain and also write it mathematical expression. Okay, so firstly, let's start off by convert them into mathematical expression first. Okay, for example, now I know my DC value, okay, which is 1.5 volt, you can see here. So I know that my VP of the DC term is 1.5. And I also will be able to know the sine wave. Okay, this sine wave is basically having a VP at three. The frequency is at 10 kilohertz. Okay, remember this is the general equation that I share with you. Okay, so these are all the information that I have from the frequency domain. The DC is 1.5, I can replace here. My VP of the sine wave is 3 over here and the frequency is 10 kilohertz. So with this, okay, I can actually transform from frequency domain into an equation. DC value 1.5 plus VP, which is 3, sine 2 pi frequency, which is 10 kilohertz. So I successfully transform them into an equation given the information in frequency domain. Next. Okay, I will be able to draw my time domain. Okay, so basically, you can see that this is a sign. 
So firstly, I just draw my sine wave here. Okay, so this is my sine wave, okay, which is to represent in time domain. Next, okay, I know my BP is three. Okay, so basically I denote that from here to here will be three volt. Same as here, from here to here will be three volt. I also can compute my frequency. Okay, so basically I have a frequency which is 10 kilohertz. Okay, I can compute the period which is 0 0.1 millisecond, which means that from here to here is 0 0.1 millisecond. Okay, next I'm ready to draw. So this is the, my DC term, which is 1.5 volt here. Okay, next, this is 1.5. I need to add a three. So therefore, I know that down here is 4.5 and 1.5 minus three, which result that I actually have minus 1.5. And last but not least, I need to draw my reference line. Okay, the reference line is basically at zero volt. Okay, so this is how does my signal actually look like in a time domain. From here, I successfully transform them from frequency domain into time domain. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.